Okay, it's called the meeting of property manage to order. First order of business, approval of the minutes. So moved. Second. Got a motion and second. Any discussion on the minutes? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposes? Okay. First, uh, first on the agenda, Fosterville Midland Volunteer Fire Department. Did, it, did our system work? Of, did, Vicky supposedly emailed this, this copy of this lease. Did anybody get it? He got his. Okay. I got it right here. Okay. Anyone need a copy or what have you? It's I think Matt looking at his now. <laughs> it's on here. It's uh, this. We've given this over to the Fosterville Midland Fire Department for their review. They haven't given us any feedback yet. It's not too uh, complicated or difficult. But you remember we're in partnership with them on building this building. They are to transfer ownership of the property over to us, the county. And coupled with that, we in turn give them a lease to use the building that's going to be constructed there. So. Really, um, I've sort of iterated on this with the county attorney, and this is what we've come up with. So I guess what we sort of need is a motion to approve the execution of this lease concurrent with the transfer of the ownership of the property to the county and uh, subject to any further changes by the county attorney might be wise <coughs> in, in that if we get some information back from the fire department we might want to make a small tweak or change here but it's a 10-year lease and it's a dollar a year or 10 years ten dollars for the whole lease so uh, that's it simplistically Larry, how long the foster department had the, had the lease I mean as far as the paper this is that this is completely new oh they've just only had it a few days really. okay and I, I want to, before we actually, see, we're taking bids on this thing, hopefully April the 17th. Yeah. And we sort of need to get all this done before we let the, go ahead and uh, sign another contract. We want to be sure we've got everything tied together. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I'd like a motion to approve it and send it on to the necessary committee it needs to go to. Okay, do I have a second on that? Okay, with the stipulation that the mayor Great. Okay, you got that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Read it back. Mm, anyone want the motion to read it back to them? What committee do you? What it's I don't think it has to go anywhere except on to the commission. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, there's no money involved here, mm -hmm. actually. Any other discussion on it? If not, I guess call the roll. Commissioner Cook? Yes. Commissioner Farley? Yes. Commissioner Serino? Yes. Commissioner Young? Yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Next, report on Sheriff Office kitchen renovation and expansion. I see a representative mm -hmm. from the Sheriff Office. Mm -hmm. Would you okay. like to come up here? <laughs> come on aboard if you like. <clears throat> We've uh, I don't know that they've actually started. We issued a letter, the architect did, that they had a notice to proceed on March the 14th. I don't know if you've seen any work <coughs> mobilized yet. Yes, they have. Okay. Yeah, I started. So we're just one week into giving the contractor permission to go ahead and start the project. And so it was no just gravel the other day that said when we were out there the other Saturday, the kitchen area. Oh, inside the kitchen area? You mean, yeah, they, they'd already stripped all the stuff out of there some months ago, really. In the 200 days, is that what I heard? To he, his bid is for a 200 day completion. And I don't have anything else unless they told you something. No, you. They, they're just on site and they have begun the work. Okay, so we're anxious, for, everybody's anxious for that to get yes. completed. That's what you, <laughs> you can stay up here because you may know more about this next item than yeah. I do, but we'll see what. Next item update on the sheriff's office, 
brick renovation. Brick remediation. We've, uh, you can tell us how we're doing, but we've, as of February the 20th, they'd already done about 53% of the 414,000, we've already paid 218,000. They've done a lot of work since then. You might tell us how far along you think they are. They're probably two thirds complete, two -thirds. around about that. Uh, looks like they've done a, a great job with it. So they've worked on it pretty continuously, even, even though we've had a nice winter there, so that's helped them get this work done. So, uh, with I don't think we've had any real stumbling blocks or no sir. injuries or anything. We have not. No snows. No man. <laughs> no man. So I, I think you know we had to issue a big change order for that. I think we're going to come in under the money. We had a we had twenty thousand dollars in contingency even there. I don't believe we're going to have to use that. We're not finding anything we hadn't already found. It appears. any more money yet and hopefully we, we're going to have a little bit more than already approved than we, than we actually use. Any questions on the, uh, the brick or the kitchen? No questions. I Update on Smyrna Health Department edition. Okay, uh, again that project is a little bit behind quite truthfully in that the weather was not good and they couldn't do their site work when we had quite a bit of rain, but they are moving, and they, of course, the, uh, the floor pad and all of that is down. Steel studs are up now, and, and so uh, it's beginning to look like it's really moving, but it's still a bit, probably a few weeks behind its schedule, but they'll have to work a little extra to catch up, hopefully, but that's about it. It's a small little project, and uh, they've only, they hadn't spent with about, oh, maybe, 20% or so of the actual total budget is all that's been actually expended to this point. But they're beginning to, they're in a position now where they can move forward because everything's dropped is there and on their concrete pad and they can put up everything. Okay. They're having that scheduled to meet next month, I believe. I think the health and ed yeah. is meeting down there next right. next yeah. time and you'll. Tuesday. Yeah, it's that's next meeting. Tuesday. Well, health and ed is Tuesday, isn't it? Okay, any questions on the Smyrna Health Department edition? Okay, next is update on <coughs> Fine Rescue Building. Well, that's, that's the one we just talked about at Fosterville Midland, and we're taking bids on that on the 17th of April. Um, now, we've estimated that tentatively to come in at, at $150,000 or less, 130000 of <coughs> county funds and 20000 from the Volunteer Fire Department. We're bidding that three different ways, three options. Uh, first option is basically shelling that building in and putting the infrastructure inside it uh, with the bathroom. Option two is a further extension of some walls and option three is the whole thing finished out. So we don't know how the bids are going to come in on that, but we fixed it where we hope we can get something done in, in that money. The difficulty, one of which we have is that is such a small project, and everything we are bidding construction-wise, we're requiring a bid bond and a performance bond. And some of the smaller contractors, and that's a difficult pull for them, so they they can't get those bonds, and it's really hard to get a bond now. So right now, we're a little concerned about whether we're gonna get enough bidders. Is that something that we're required to have? As yeah, well, I just, I hadn't, had, I mean, it, it would be a whole lot cheaper if we didn't have to have no contractors. But I, I just, even five minutes ago, just got a, an opinion from my county attorney that basically says a bid bond or perform, performance bond, they're not required, but you have to have a, what's called a surety bond for any project in excess of $100,000. The county cannot okay. um, let that contract unless we've got a surety bond of 25% of of the actual cost of the building. So there are other options and we may try to use some of these. They can put up certain securities or cash, such as a treasury bond, CDs or cash or a letter of credit. So that might be some other options we could offer to these people in lieu of having to have the actual uh, surety bonds in place. So 
I'm, we're sort of struggling with that. Uh, we won't do anything that, that's not legal, but that's the uh, opinion right there of what we have to put in place. So I, we can't waive this requirement, even though it may limit the number of people that really submit bids for this. And we'll know more April the 17th. And we'll, we'll know what we want to do if we want to offer some of these other options, which are legal, such as cash, a CD, or a letter of credit. Mm -hmm. We want to communicate this to the bidders okay. now mm -hmm. uh, so that, you know, that will give them another option and maybe we, that will help some of those that might want to be. Uh, you give the chairman a letter for them. Well, the architect, the engineer will send that out as an addendum to the okay. bid specification so that, you know, we, we tell everybody the same thing. But I'm going, without objection, I mean, I'm going to ask him to do that subject to what we have here documented from him legally. I think they need to know. Well, we need to, we need to make it a little bit more flexible possibly mm -hmm. for this small of a project. And that, like you said, that makes it a lot better for the, the contractor and it'll give the county a better price too. We can make it too complicated sometimes and cost us more money by doing something than but what we, we, but we still there's state law on this uh, surety bond for over 100000 and this will be more than 100000 mm -hmm. If it's under 100, we could we could waive this business and yeah. make our own best judgment. And I may be wrong by saying this, but I think <coughs> uh, I that there's something going through the legislature considering something like that now, where it makes it harder on local governments because of that. There's something going on between architectural uh, fees and or whatever on that. I believe. I don't know about that. There might be. Okay. <coughs> okay. I think number six. Relief to the Foster Bill member, Department of Building. We already discussed it. Yes. Yeah, so we don't need to discuss it anymore unless the committee got no, any I mean, questions. I mean, I don't know that I need any authority except to do what's le yeah. what we're legally capable no, of doing. We don't need to approve that. We don't that, need right? to approve that. But we are going to give them a, a broader range of instruments that they can use as stated in the, uh, the code. Okay, capital projects update. What do you want to do with that? I, 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 <laughs> Vicky, Vicky said you wanted to put that down, so we'll let you lead off on well, it. Well, I think we got some players here, don't we? You know, whichever one, you know, uh, I heard that uh, departments was submitting capital projects to you, and it's yeah. being property management. I was thinking that this committee needs to be updated on comp on capital projects. Now, every budget comes through. There is a sheet that says capital expenditures request. But most, when we say capital, that's a whole range of things. Mm -hmm. there, there haven't been any building capital projects requested. Most everything that's requested is a vehicle or a. Uh, some technology or those kinds of those are capital projects, or capital expenditure requests. Now the capital building request, there there haven't been any through the routine budgeting process. Now we get this little report that Ms. Uh, Cook and maybe I think really do y'all get a copy of this this committee? No, I didn't get a copy. Of it. See this goes this the only the only time they would present this is at the health and air committee, but this list the money that has been appropriated and the expenditures that have been incurred for the capital projects. And this is prepared by the finance department. And uh, there's not many projects on here right now, but because we don't have many going. But the firing range is still on here since they hadn't, they, they stay on this list and I, we should ask the finance department to give you a copy of this every time they print one of these. I think that would be wise. Uh, and they stay on the list until all the money is either spended or turned back in. And the other project is the Rutherford County Fire Department project, what we just talked about. Uh, well, that's the big one. I didn't, maybe I got out of step here on one of these. The, uh, I don't think you gave the report we, on Barfield. Uh, where is that on here? Is that not on here? Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's on there. Yeah, that's, that's number five. Excuse me, we skipped. Uh, oh, you we, skipped one on. We skipped number five on you. Okay, well you can okay that's now. a good report on that. <laughs> on the uh, Brotherford County Fire Rescue Building, uh, 
Chief Farley thinks we're going to be in there by May the 1st. I, he may be a little optimistic. Have you been by there, Commissioner? Well, they, got, you know? they got sheetrock up in there. They got the bay doors on. It's all bricked. Uh, it's just going to depend on the weather, I reckon, he, with the concrete around the, the building. The, the concrete's all finished, so they're all inside. I mean, he, he thinks that they're they're painting out there, doing drywall and getting ready. Well, I'm at the um, parking lot. Park. The weather's going to depend on the parking lot. That'll be the okay. the big thing. But uh, May 1st is a realistic goal. It looks like they're – I drive by it all the time. So. They're – he's in the process of getting all everything put in the building and got to be put in there, and, and the furniture and the equipment, all that stuff is ordered. So it, uh, it'll be ready to be occupied as soon as we get – as soon as the contractor turns it over to us. Uh, the power's not on it yet, but I get, think they're getting ready to set a pole in the next few days. Okay, I, excuse me for skipping over that one. And that's that's still within our budget. But anyway, on this sheet of paper here from Commissioner McAdoo, the Rutherford County Fire Department project, and you can see how many how many dollars we've had appropriated. We've funded a million nine eighty nine for that, and uh, we've spent uh, most all that money's already committed. But I mean, we're in the budget on that. And then the Midland Foster Volunteer Fire Department, we got $130,000, as I just told you previously. That's on this sheet. And this, this is not a building, but the communications project, which whereby we're putting up the tower for this communication center, it's on this sheet. So there's several things on here that don't have to do anything with the building, a property court, but it is a capital project. And the kitchen uh, improvement is on there. <coughs> And we've appropriated the, on this report, sometimes they get updated, a million four. And the jail brick remediation is on here. And the health department addition is on there. So this would give you an update on the dollars that we're spending, mm -hmm. that you appropriated and the dollars that we've spent to date. Okay, can you, can you see that each person on this committee is a Yeah, just let the minutes reflect. And when Elaine reads these minutes, she'll, she'll take care I of it. I think Lisa used to provide that to the yeah, she did. Yeah, okay, well, we, we'll pass it out and, and and both email it to you so you'll have it in hand before the meeting. Okay. Uh, the automobiles and come under capital projects. They, yes, ma'am. Uh, should they put up, be put on that list too? Well, other other capital projects be no, listed where we could know? No, no, this, just this right here is just for, for construction, construction. Quote, capital. Maybe okay. a building, it might be a tower, it might be a... Okay. The, the way I understand capital projects and stuff is it's something that we go to the bottom market with. We don't want to go out here and borrow money to buy a, buy a car, buy a vehicle. Because you, know, you don't want to put a 20-year uh, <laughs> note on a, on a vehicle. And that's why I understand capital projects and when we go out here and, and go into the market, the debt market. Okay. Okay. But it could be like the communication system. If it was going to cost us... $15 million, then you might have to go to the bond market. Right. It doesn't have to be a, a a building, but if you're going to, if it's going to be a an item, it's going to be a big ticket item, a really big ticket item before you. And it lasts more than a year or two exactly. years. Exactly. It ought to have 20 year life. It's got to have the life of the bond if you yeah. have to borrow money for it. Okay. Well, I uh, just this think, one, this think might be helpful for everybody. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. To then. show, it also shows you where you where the money is appropriated from, whether it's a litigation tax or development tax or out of general funds. I mean, it shows how the money came through to make these projects whole. Mm -hmm. That's just my thinking. I don't know any other committee members. Maybe you don't want this report, but I definitely want it. You know. well, I think you should have it. I'm really remiss in that you're not having it before. Okay. Do we have anything where, where uh, a report of the future as far as building, like, you know, with the jail, like how far out that is? And I know that's tentative, nothing's set in stone, but do we have a, a report that says we're going to do the jail addition this year, we're going to do this school this year, we're going to do the health department this year? Do we have something? Mm -hmm. The judicial building. Yeah. The only thing, from time to time, when, when we have to issue these bonds, Lisa will put in there, quote, our best projection on what's coming up in the next few years. Those things, even though we may or may not have approved them officially, we sort of make a list. The list is a pretty short list. Well, the reason why I'm saying this is because at the last full commission meeting, I think when we were talking about the Sheriff's Department, that got brought up and people were 
commissioners yeah. were going, well, we didn't know this was going to happen, and it would be nice to eat, to have a five, seven, ten year plan of that's tentative. You can't make it. Uh, it th those things have been done, but there's been county commissioners that sit up here, and, and, and when it comes time to uh, to fund them, <laughs> I mean, the department heads have been, have been doing this in the past, and then come to a point when we come down, the county commissioner said no. So basically, what was going on, it would just get pushed to the to the side, and uh, that's how that's how it kind of stopped. Yeah, but having seven new commissioners, it may not be a bad idea to have a, to have future plans or whatever to bring them up to date on some things that we've done. You know, that's a good example of the judicial you brought it up, judicial building, and uh, the seven new commissioners probably wouldn't know that in 2005 we went over there and mm -hmm. took a whole block, and, and right as of today we spent approximately 1.9 million on that block for a judicial building. So some of those things the new commissioners may want to see, and what's the future plan with that block over there? You know, that's what I think. That's what Matt but the, basically but, but, wanted to see. I, and I understand, but if, if we're going to go out here and ask our department heads to go out here and, and, and spend hours developing five-year plans, you know, and some of those, some of their time should be spent more wisely taking care of the day-to-day -day operations. Then, because the, the district center, we all know that we can't afford it right now. Well. We couldn't afford what was brought up in 2005, 60 million, yeah. the way they had presented to build it. That was in 2005. We're looking at 2012 now. I don't know if this new staff over there may come up and present something. Just a good example, the sheriff's department. We were looking at spending eight million on that jail out there. All of a sudden, with their study and, and, and working, we're looking at maybe spending a million to take care of that project. So, I, you know, 2005, 60 million. I don't know what the plan of that department in 2012. Well, well, we know, that, we know, what we just got through the other night and doing a, a million dollars, possibly up to a million dollars. Mm -hmm. We know that that, and, and what was told to us is that's going to put us up five, five years, possibly, of having to do anything out there as far as adding on to the sheriff's department. Yeah, but well, I may get that from the district. You know, and, well, and, other <coughs> and what I'm asking for probably already exists, just not in one document. Because right. you know the school board's got an outline of when they're going to build a school. The school board has only told <coughs> us that there's a possibility of one more elementary school in 2014 or 15. That's as far out as they are. So that's all that they have on the horizons. We know what their plan is. And, and, and that's just kind of what, and I'm not talking about the small, mm -hmm. we're going to buy these dump trucks this year, or <laughs> these fire trucks this year, or ambulances. I'm talking about the million, five million, ten million, sixty million dollar projects that well, we need to know are going. Well, we got an elected official sitting in the audience. You want her to come up? Let, oh. She's talking about the judicial building. Let me say this. Every bond issue that we've done, you know, we, we made them broad ranging in, in the terms of what could be built. And every time we give over information to the rating agencies, we list A, B, C, D things that might be possible. Mm -hmm. And the judicial building has been in there. Every, it's one of the few things that keeps, and it's at 50 million plus. Mm -hmm. And regardless of what we do, it'll be 50 million plus. Uh, so that plus the schools, we do outline those and we have put in and we've had to put in the Joe B. Jackson Parkway. And, and, and that's where I was talking so about going. So the judicial building at Joe B. Jackson Parkway, uh, the, a school or two, and we did, we have told them about the potential need for this sheriff's business. Of course, that can come out now for a few years, but mm -hmm. that's that's been our capital plan, you might say, that we've disclosed. So uh, what, what more, what more is, is are y'all asking now? Because I mean, because that's what I'm saying, it's being done. You know, like the mayor said, we have to present that when we go to the bond market. I mean, that would, for future debt. It, it would, I guess it would be good for all the commissioners, like 
Mr. McAdoo was saying to know. To, to know that and to see that. It doesn't have to create a new document or anything. If we've already got that information, just get it out to, to these commissioners uh, that aren't on property management, maybe not as versed on what we're going to be building or and when we're going to be building it or what we might be building, I should say. Um, but we, when we get in the full commission, they're not going... Well, I didn't know we had to build an addition to the jail, or we're going to have to build a new tower. You can or, give the, that as part of your property management report anytime you want to. The finance director, when we go to the bond market, she she gets up she there and she say. talks about that. And, I mean, every time we go to the bond market, she talks about we, that. We've told the bond people, the raiders, every time that we have this potential, we have the need to build this um, judicial building. Every time we do the bond, we go out here and, and issue a bond. She goes over that process and she talks about <coughs> the future indebtedness that that what we have to look at for our future bond ratings. I mean, well, obviously, in, obviously that not all twenty-one commissioners are on the same page because they don't. Not, it came out last <laughs> meeting. I mean, I'm not doubting you. I agree with you, but I, we'll just make sure that everybody knows. And it. Well, I asked the finance department a question. And I think she's still digging up the information. And it was just a curiosity on my part on the bonds. Because, you know, we keep, we come up here and we say, well, we're going to do this. We're going to do this out of legal money. We're going to do this out of this money. We're going to do this out of this money. So I was curious since we built that new uh, juvenile and workhouse out there, that was a, a bond issue project. I was curious. Well, how are we paying that bond back? Are we paying it from the legal money? Are we paying it from tax money or whatever? And I hadn't got the full report back, but I do know that uh, a little over 800000 a year of legal fund money was going to pay bonds. Now, the only question I asked was, well, well, which bonds is it paying? Is it paying on just the, this uh, juvenile building or the workhouse or what? You know, and I asked that, and I ain't got that yet, but I was curious about that. Well, the money that's collected from the litigation tax can only be used for courthouse renovation or construction or jail renovation or construction. So, we had a, here's this, we had a little bit of money built up in that fund before we built the Correctional Work Center and the juvenile detention and all of that. And that's, we've used up all that money in jail remediate and, and the uh, uh, brick remediation and other things, uh, the kitchen. So that money, the cash, little cash pool we had is gone. It's, so there's no more money we can do anything with it. The other money that's reoccurring and continues to come in, the finance department and Lisa, they have they are they can only apply that money and they are applying that money to the that's building all of it out that cost twenty three million dollars plus they're applying that and it's not enough to even support all of that debt but they're applying all the reoccurring money we're getting to to pay down that debt to the extent it can so there is no new money there and everything is already committed so there we it's not like we got some more than we can build another jail extent, ex expansion because we don't so. That's sort of the short answer to, all of, uh, to, uh, to that piece of it. Well, yeah, you know, getting that information because I'm just curious, you know, since it's been out there, how much have we paid down? So we don't have it. That, that, that wouldn't leave us any money to build a new courthouse with uh, as far as any reoccurring revenue that's coming in. So we're going to have to build a new courthouse unless we want to wait 20 more years and we get this debt paid off out there. You're going to have to build it out of general fund revenue. Yeah, because I think you and I had that discussion, and the only thing I, you know, I made the statement that we don't wait until we pay off a school before we start building another school. So I was interested in how much have we paid off at the workhouse and uh, you're, you're paying, off, paying off first. Yeah. yeah, how much? It's it's been out there three or four years. We hadn't paid off very much. Uh, here's one thing. We're paying off about $25 million, just say give or take, every year in principle. So if we built nothing new, we would, it wouldn't take us but about 10 years to pay ourselves out of debt, all right? And we, 
we'd have plenty of cash flow out of our, uh, to take care of uh, additional debt if we wanted to incur it on the judicial building. I've got a, are, are, there but, any, are there any other revenues maybe with your office that can be earmarked for that? I don't know if you have anything <coughs> coming in or uh, fees yeah, or whatnot. You have to consider too, it, we can charge things all day long. We've got to get somebody to actually pay them. <laughs> um, so so the, the costs are charged and assessed to someone, and then we've got to collect that money in. So that's, I mean, we are working, you know, on our collections group and, and getting that ramped up, but there's not any other additional revenue within TCA that we can add at this point um, that's earmarked for that. Okay. And with that being said, with, with, let's just say, for example, this and, and I, everybody here, I, I'm pretty confident is for building a, a judicial building. We understand the problems over there, but on let's just say sixty-five million dollars. What is it called? Sixty million, or whatever. Well, with, it's, it's fifty million in the uh, it's yeah, but a while. yeah, but when that was brought up, you know, I've been on the commission a long time. When it was brought up in two thousand and five. I guess I'm guilty because I thought that that judicial building was going to take the whole block. But then the historical committee came in and said they want the old court, old health department to store records and do whatnot or whatever. So if that project ever come about, will it take the whole block or will it just yeah. take a portion of the block? Well, what we had the last study that was done, <laughs> which you looked at that study, it takes everything else that's there, uh, the old health department stays there, but everything else would be a building on it. And we'd have to put parking somewhere else. It's not enough space left there to do the parking and a court building that would support all the courts we got, plus give some growth. So it would fill it. And then we, they talked about it, and we don't have a plan on where we're gonna build a parking garage or something, okay? I mean, that would, potentially have to go across the street on the property where the clerk's building is. Right. Well, let's, uh, let's just say $50 million, like it's been talked about, okay? Mm -hmm. On $50 million of, of, of bond, of paying the debt back on property tax, what, what would that equal to having, to having increased property taxes to to build a judicial building? I would, I, I would have, it's about $75,000 on a, a on a well, we just built a high school for fifty million. So a look penny, at that figure. What's penny worth? A penny's worth about six hundred thousand okay. dollars. Yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, I, so <laughs> no, I, should, I should have that on top of my head, well, but well, I. I, that's I, I, I don't want to put you on the spot. In my mind, so we're, we're, I like your number. I guess my point is, we're, we're looking, yeah, we're looking at probably cent. twenty cents on a tax increase just to build it, but and. Well, what, what, I don't think there's 11 commissioners up here that said we do that. We built a $50 million high school. How much was that on the property tax rate? The, yeah. the one thing we, the one thing good with compared to building a school mm -hmm. versus compared to building a judicial building is the judicial building staff just walks over. We don't have to hire new staff. Mm -hmm. So that's another helping point there that you gotta look at and that's a reoccurring cost every year but from then on. But you still gotta out. pay for the bricks and mortar. But you do have to pay for the bricks and yeah, mortar. But I just told you though, if you, <clears throat> if you didn't build any more schools for a while, if you we're paying off twenty five million a year. You can spend twenty five one this year and another year and you pay you you're at the same place. Yeah. Your debt service that you're generating out of your tax rate would be enough to pay for it. And I'm not arguing the point that I'm, that as far as being against that, because I do see the need over there. I'm just saying, I'm being realistic. How are you going to pay for it? But let me tell you this, even more difficult this year, not talking about any more capital expenditure, we're going to have an extraordinarily difficult time even balancing the operating budget, independent of any new projects. Any new capital projects. Any, any new capital projects. Because that, that, that high school that we, that we put the bond market on, that stretched us to the point on debt service as far as our, 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 the money we're allocating to pay off the debt, that stretched us to, and I think uh, the mayor and the, and the finance director along the budget committee had to, <coughs> had to 
work some magic to move some numbers around in our budget to to make that happen. You know, and like I say, I'm not against the, the judicial building. I mean, I, I'm, I think it's a needed building like other things, but right now, how are we gonna pay for it? Well, like Matt, Commissioner Matthew said, I mean, this has been discussed and on the table <laughs> for <laughs> execution before I came here. Yeah, it, so it, we're into the seventh or eighth year of this right. already. The only thing I'm looking at, we got a block over there. You know, if you're not gonna build a judicial building, so be it. But you got a block over there. What you gonna do with it? You gonna sell it or, or just no. keep renting it out or what? You're, you're going to build a judicial building, I believe, in the next five years. Okay. That's all I want to hear. <laughs> now the other thing I want to tell you, since we're talking about capital, well, I believe in the mayor now. I'll tell you all, of you, all of you know about the development tax, and in that the revenue we've been generating that that development tax has been used not for it's used for all kinds of purposes, but capital purposes, equipment, and vehicles, and technology. You know things like if we run short not have enough money in litigation tax to do something, we'll take something out of the development tax and maybe even, I don't know what we did this or not, with the kitchen, that kind of thing. We have drawn that down to there's just a little bit over a million dollars in there. All of our tools have been used up more or less. We don't, the flexibility of doing anything of any significance is really, really difficult right now. I believe though we have <coughs> this this last month we surpassed the development tax that we collected last year though. But it's still it is still, it's still we ten still, times less than it was four years we, ago. Hopefully we're going to right. exceed a million dollars this year. <laughs> but it's improved. Really, we we collected six to eight million dollars for mm -hmm. any number of years that really helped us with a huge amount of flexibility on making building improvements. Not necessarily building new, but just making improvements. Yeah, the only reason I want to bring it up, just like for discussion only now, I'm not knocking what we've done, what the mayor and the financial department have done. They've done an excellent job, an excellent job. It's, I don't think any commissioner on the commission would disagree with that. But we still have questions, we still have projects out there lingering, you know, that we need to discuss from time to time, especially for the seven new commissioners, because a lot of times I get hit with these questions the first thing I, you didn't know this, you didn't know that, you know, and that's the only reason I brought it up. Okay. When you stop and look at it, Alan's been on here a long time and we've got several departments that we're financing now that we didn't have to finance. At the time he came on county right. commission. Oh Lord, yes. At the time I come on county commission, I'm much younger than he is. So, you know, like OIT, mm -hmm. and we've got several others. It's, it's it's costing us money, but we're managing. Yeah. Well, I think for the betterment of the for the community mm -hmm. and county. I think you know it's excellent to sit here and say that you can pay down. $25 million worth of debt a year and not really affect the property tax rate. It, it's really, it's, we, we can it's pay it down and borrow another 25 yeah. and not affect your tax rate. Yeah. <coughs> it's excellent to say those things. So theoretically with that, in two years if we didn't build a school there would be $50 million. We, we could go ahead and make the investment to borrow another 50 and build that. But it, in, in reality it's, we're probably three years away. But, well, five years is a good future projection. I, Better than we, we've got to believe the economy will turn around enough and believe that we've got enough capacity to sort of build into our school system that it won't be a, a continuing real st uh, stress point that has been for many years now that we might can fit that in. Well, Commissioner Jordan, he's trying to come up with a plan where we can use it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know, I really, uh, I've just kind of been sitting here listening. <laughs> I really like the discussion on the three to five year plan. I know that flies in the face of how a lot of times we operate, you know, politically or from government, you know, the way, you know, we get up here and it's hard to vote for a tax increase when the economy is the way it is. But I think it's even harder to govern without a plan. Um, our one year plan is pretty well set with our budget from year to year, but a three to five year strategic plan that can be reviewed and assessed on an annual basis, you know, and, and kind of looked at, okay, well, 
if the economy does this, if it stays stable where it is, this is what we can be able to do. You know, and based upon, you know, and develop a plan devised upon a needs assessment of our county, you know, wh where are we going to be if we continue at this rate of, great, uh, rate of growth? Where are we going to be from a population standpoint? Where are we going to be on a, a criminal standpoint, um, a jail population standpoint if we continue to grow? And that could project out for us where we need to be and kind of set our goals for us um, or, or help to. And then we all know life happens and <laughs> and things happen and all of a sudden the economy tanks or the economy turns up and maybe we can do a project earlier um, but at least we we would have some sort of guidance and so if seven new commissioners come on next time at least they have a path that they can choose to go down or they can choose to adjust but at least there's a path out there um, that we could at least look at so I, I like the discussion um, I know that it doesn't follow conventional practices, but um, maybe it could be something that could be beneficial to us. I like uh, using statistics, too, on population and amount of revenue coming in and where we can, can not only where we can gauge those projects, too, where if, if we haven't hit that yet, maybe we can't build that project or, or do that. <clears throat> you know, continue until we can it was brought up, you know, I put discussion on it. Uh, the sheriff's department, I see you. Do you have anything to bring up? Oh. Okay. Any more discussion on it? If not, uh, we've got one good thing. We're gonna, we'll get a copy of this report. And that would help us. Uh, also, maybe, you know, future planning or whatever, can have a discussion on or whatever and have something like he said a three-year plan or whatever some of the projects that been lingering out there since you know 2005 but like I say I guess I'm guilty too because we had seven new commissioners and that wasn't around when all this took place and I Maybe they need to be brought up to date on projects that we got out there, uh, we have looked at, you know, just for their knowledge. Any more discussion? No disrespect, Mr. Chairman, but I'm going to go back to when Ms. Nolan, when, when we've done the 60, she's not back here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about in the, in the, in the big courtroom. Oh, okay. When we did the bond on this new high school, those things were talked about, about the, the thing, the future indebtedness that we're going to have to look at, like Joe B. Jackson Park Lane, Judicial Building, Sheriff's Department, those things, those things were talked about in there that day, and I think all 21 of us were, that sheet of paper was given to us we're, were in there that day. Uh, so I, I, well, I, I got the sheet of paper, but it didn't. It didn't, it didn't include the history of uh, some of those projects. You know, I got, the, I got the sheet of paper that the new judicial building, but it didn't say that we still got that block over there or what we planned to, you know. It, it's things that were, were left out. It was just a brief summary that some of the new commissioners are asking questions about. I don't know if they asked you, but I guess since I'm chairman of property management, I get these questions asked and, and, and no, and the mayor know when I get a question asked, I run right to his office yeah. and try to dig up that information. And I, I just, I myself felt guilty that maybe some of the seven new commissioners needed to know a little more history about these projects than they knew. But that's the only reason I brought it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think that's true. And probably I should have held an orientation session <laughs> just to talk about what's sort of in the pipeline. When you have a new commissioner. But, but would this be good to, I know it's on television tonight, but would this be good for a summary for Lisa to bring this up at county commission sometime to let the listening audience? Well, we we got to decide what we want her to bring up, how we, how we want her to present. <laughs> yeah. I pretty much summarized what she'll have to tell you. Yeah, she yeah. yeah. And you right. have to look back now at what you've been, what you've done since 2005 mm -hmm. and how many you have built 
that has been the priority, period. And you've executed that very nicely. So uh, that's sort of, that has been the plan that has been executed. One thing that I look at is uh, the city of Murfreesboro with their capital improvement plan. Mm -hmm. And they have it out three years from now, they're gonna borrow X. They know what they're gonna borrow down the road for those projects and projected cost. Whether they do them or not, depending on the economy, is a different situation. Because a plan is a plan. It doesn't mean it's set in stone that you're going to do it. But that, you know, given those projections, can be done. I mean, and, and you can go on their website right now and, and look at that capital improvement plan and see how it's done. And it also gives the public the knowledge of what's going on and what's coming down the line, um, not just the commissioners. So. I'd just like to add to, from the perspective of that three to five year plan, as an elected official, as a new elected official, looking at the statistics of what was developed when this first, when the judicial uh, building was first discussed, we in, in almost all of our courts have hit the 2015 level that was projected out in that initial study. So by doing a three to five year plan and continually taxing us as elected officials to provide data and to keep that data updated, we would then actually be able to analyze, is the space that was recommended really going to be enough for what we've already hit? We've, we've already hit, in one court, we've already hit 20, 30 projections for the volume already. So, so what you're saying is the study that we've done in 2005 is, is basically non-existent. That we actually, actually we're going to have grown, another, another study. We've, we've grown, grown exponentially <laughs> since there, there that. two studies done. Yeah, we've, we've grown exponentially since those studies have been completed. So, you know, it's, if we were focusing on a three to five year plan process and addressing it on a regular basis, we would be able to say, yes, we're, just as was mentioned earlier, yes, we're keeping pace with this projected growth. We're lower than that projected growth, or as has happened in this case, we're higher than that originally projected growth. Do we need to then prioritize that higher or lower based on the growth we've already hit? Because we've- Two judges, haven't we? Since growth? Maybe you just added. Judge we Brandon's had, the only judge we've had in the Judge Brandon, since though, I've been here. To uh, okay. general session, I don't know if a new judge has been added to circuit or not. Not since 2005, okay. I think. Okay. Yeah. And you've won, but I couldn't think, or it was one or two. I'm not Judge Brandon, you've been Brandon. He replaced the judge that- uh, Judge Trey. Clayton. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll put this into and the list of other things that the mayor's office should <laughs> see if he can recruit some help on. Any more discussion? Any committee member got anything to bring up? If not, meetings adjourned.